Thank you for enjoying your sweetest moments with me, Merging Timelines. Today I'm going to receive a message for my Leo, Sun, and Moon viewers. Leo, Sun, and Moon viewer. Thank you for enjoying your time that you share with me. I really do appreciate it. It's mutual. We have a vibe here and we enjoy each other's company. So, Leo, thank you for all of the support that you share and you show me. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. If you enjoy your reading today, please feel free to leave a title that you think is very fitting for the reading in the comment box. Let's see what's going to come through for your March 2023 reading. This is for March 2023. Leo. What do we have for Leos? What do we have for Leo? For March 2023 for my Leo. So we're taking some time to ourselves. We're taking time to collect our own thoughts and feelings outside of those that we're connected with. So we've been to ourselves lately, which is very good to see. Some isolation, some hermit mode vibes. There's such a bit of calm, contentment when pulling back. There's something that you feel so assured in doing. There seems to be a cycle that keeps repeating around you. And so you need, you need to put more attention to that you feel than anything else. It stems from you feeling overwhelmed and what you do in this in this position where you feel emotionally overwhelmed and very disappointed at that it's almost as though you can't find yourself in it what of what of this leo can we not find ourselves in i mean obviously if it's happening around us it's in direct correlation with us so what part of it is a reflection of who we are and who we're carrying the page of cups feeling rejected emotionally. Maybe there's a cycle where people reject us in how we feel. Maybe they're not seeing how we feel for how we feel. Um, but it all comes from this lack of security that we provide ourselves or that we feel like we've provided ourselves, right? Either you're doing it directly or you feel this way. But you could also be dealing with a Capricorn sun or moon viewer or um, Capricorn in your life. You may have Capricorn in your chart. It may be your soul's lesson to ground and stabilize yourself physically. Like in this earth plane, we have those three elements, our, our three signs, sorry, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. It seems as though you've been working on trying to ground this. Maybe you have a moon in Capricorn. Um, Leo. Or a moon or sign. It's all about you feeling rejected, but really you're just trying to change the way you feel. I mean, never mind what you lose in the process of doing this. Because you will accept a lot of losses to come. You know, I feel like you're going to do this because you'll have to change how you feel independently. Because that's part of that reflection in the cycle that you keep seeing around you. Something that's reflecting an inner sense of instability. 
Where is the effort that you're putting? Is it constantly putting in those around you? Because one thing about this queen, she is very, very hardworking, but somehow she always receives nothing or gets at the bottom, she gets with nothing. And it's, it, it comes down to her investments and why does she invest in, in certain things and not in other things? Her feelings don't align with them. It's as if she can't see them happening for herself. So you need to come out of this time of the past where you couldn't see things happening for you. It's unfair to you that you could see things happening for others, but not yourself. And, and the reason why you could see it happening for others, I'm sorry to say, Leo, is that these people around you are willing to invest in themselves, where you're willing to invest in others. And the message could be vice versa. But that's why this is not in the upright or in the reverse, because they're saying it's up to you. When do you want to utilize the power that you have to create for yourself? The way you're so willing to create for others. You've avoided the healing and you know that you have everything within your intuition to bring forth this sort of stability for yourself. I feel like Leo may be facing a lot of... Um, closed cycles with other connections of the past in order to feel less and less of service to others around them and to focus within themselves. <clears throat> Maybe a lot of connections from childhood have been going this way. It's been a cycle of the past for you, something that you see happening over and over again and you're not understanding why. Why? Because maybe you pour too much of yourself into others and not of yourself enough. Leo, Sun, and Moon viewer. Okay, so the highest timeline is the Four of Cups in Reverse. So coming out of feeling as though this was something against you, but more so happening for you, something for you to feel a little less light in, self-blaming, self-sabotaging, knowing that you have what it is you need to create the reality that you're looking forward to having, but you need to start making the building blocks for that. And it all starts with you changing how you feel. Yeah. These are very pretty cards to have for your advice and your future. So I feel like you have to focus on this connection that you're building within a partnership, right? This is within a union. This could be your divine partner, your soulmate, um, twin flame even. Um, this is just someone that you see eye to eye with you're enjoying their company you could be in a um same-sex relationship you could be in a multi um i want to say there's like multiple personalities in this relationship but um definitely a mixed dynamic here it's something unusual and part in particular about this connection but it also brings so much happiness to everyone around them that it is accepted for what it is 
even in its indifference. It makes everyone feel like a child again. That's how I feel about this connection for someone. Everyone gets exactly what they're wishing for or everyone starts to believe that they can have what they're wishing for. They start to dream again for themselves as a result of seeing this connection come together or come in union. But you have to choose to create it. You have to realize that something around you is showing for what it actually is at this time. A repeated cycle of the past that stems from your emotional rejection or your feeling of your feelings that surrounded time when you felt emotionally rejected. And that comes from not being able to put the time and effort to yourself, not wanting to, you know, not feeling that desire to in the same way that you were willing to do it for others. You're saving your energy now. And you're starting to find more time to create within. And you see how the world around you changes when you start this way, Leo. When you start to create the world within you. Leo, sun, and moon. So a cycle around you shows what it actually is. You remember a time when you were more invested in everything else but you and you decide that you're going to put this in the upright position. I feel you're going to manifest what it is that you want because you'll see you have it already. You have it and if you focus on it, if you put more time and space in it and embracing its individuality more and more, because I think it's pushing past how you feel internally. Like, I don't feel like you're, you're seeing this around you right now. Maybe there's some connection of the past, of a childhood that is coming to a close. But it's opening up space for something in the future that is really just allowing you to embrace the way you want to be loved moving forward. Mm -hmm. feeling as though you can dream again and there are no limitations within this dream there are no reflections of a uh, time when you felt like you didn't deserve it Leo So you have the hyena and the nightingale. Leo has the hyena and the nightingale. Let me get your life purpose card first, and then we'll read into that those two for you. Leo. Life purpose reading for Leo. What is the life purpose message for Leo? So you have three, Leo. I'm just going to leave it there for you. Um, you have animal in the reverse. So you may have lost a pet or someone here has lost a pet. I'm so sorry for that if that's you. Um, there is a creative expression that can come from this, though. This loss or transformation. Maybe this, if you don't have a pet here, maybe one of your animal spirit guides seems to... Um, crossed over in some way, you understand animals and communicate with them intuitively. Trust your inner guidance as the animals are part of your life's work. Maybe connecting with an animal reminds you of a past loved one. In a way, there's a, a creative expression that stems from this, writing. Your soul longs to express itself creatively and you heal, inspire, teach, and entertain with the words you write. So maybe you can make stories with very nice pictures. Um, and that's something you're working on. That's just an idea for you. Okay, Leo. And let's get into your animals. 
spirit message, you have the hyena and the nightingale. So the hyena is in the upright, your humor, your wit, and sarcasm. Um, the hyena personality is a jokester and crowd pleaser, but below the surface, there are unfulfilled dreams to be realized. When the hyena card appears, it's time to reflect on your reliance on sarcasm and humor to express your truth. Are you using jokes to hide old resentments in relationships or to mask things that you feel uncomfortable discussing? What would happen if you took your goals seriously? All right, so right now you're coming across charming, witty, and fun to be around. So people find your sobriety, sobriety to be refreshing, something that they have yet to experience, a level of joy and fun within someone who doesn't need to be enhanced in feeling that way. It's very childlike and refreshing. So that's a good look for you, Leo. Then we have the Nightingale. And that's not to say that even if you do, you know that you don't come across as someone who is light and refreshing. So just take that message, how it resonates. There's those of you who are just in your most vibrant self when you're sober and people enjoy that. The Nightingale. Right now it's in the reverse, but we'll read it on both ends. The fearless voice, speech, communication, or song. Remember, you had the writing and creative expression. The song of the Nightingale is otherworldly. This simple brown bird, almost unnoticeable among the flashy plumage of other birds, transports its listener to the realm of poetry. Nightingale energy is with us when we write, compose, and especially when we sing. It reminds us that music heals the deepest wounds. This card indicates a need to open the bridge between the heart and the voice. Is there something you need to say? How long has it been since you sang? Turn it up, write it down, and let it out. So remember, you have that creative writing expression. So maybe some of you are songwriters. Okay, and <clears throat> you may feel a little shy or like you have a lump in your throat regarding this, but I feel like the more that you listen to music, the more you will find that this creative expression just flows. And you'll know this when you start to sing and speak freely with kindness. So when you can speak to others in a way that um, lifts them up, you know that you're within this vibration of the nightingale, your fearless voice will come alive and you'll start to use this gift of speech, right? With fluidity, it'll just start to come. So enjoy the time that you're taking to rest. Notice the world around you is changing and an old cycle that you'll see <laughs> so sorry guys an old cycle that you'll see is going to just kind of say hi and bye and it'll feel for the last time as if you're being rejected and it'll only feel that way so that you remember to work more on yourself than those around you. Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed your reading, Leo. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, leave the title of the video in the comment box if you want to, and I'll see you for your mid-March reading 2023. Bye!